Oh, no. Spongy brakes. In this segment of British Car Tips, we're going to talk about rear brake adjustments. First thing you need to do is basically pump the pedal, pull the handbrake, pump it again, should get a nice firm pedal. If you don't get a firm pedal, then probably you have some other serious brake problem. In this case, this particular car just needs a rear brake adjustment. Always remember to let the handbrake down before you go back to adjust the brakes. You'll need a quarter inch drive wrench, quarter inch drive socket wrench, a pair of jack stands, and a floor jack. Let's go adjust some brakes. Now it's time to lift up the car. Grab your trusty floor jack, carefully position it underneath the differential. There's the part I hate the most. Never trust the floor jack. Always the floor jack is just to raise and lower the car. As you're raising the car, you're going to figure out where you're going to put the jack stands so as to safely position it, keep the car from falling down. Whoop. That's why you never trust the jack. Try this again. One little slip and you get squished. So, for this instance, we're going to place the jack stands on the frame rails so as to let the differential fall down, making it a lot easier to adjust the brakes. As the differential comes down, you'll be able to uh, reach everything, turn the wheels a little easier, making everything simple. As you lower the jack, always be careful to let it down slowly. Keep from moving it around. Before you pull out the jack, always give the car a good little jiggle, make sure nothing's going to happen. Pull or release the jack down, and we're all set. Time for our brake adjust. Ooh. So once you've positioned the car in a safe place and jacked it up and everything's going to be smooth and keep you from getting squished underneath the car, uh, position your brake wrench, start cranking it down. Generally as you're turning the wheel you should hear a little swish and that's the brake shoe running on the brake drum. You'll get to the point where it's going to click, click, and the last notch, and the brake's going to get stopped. So once you get to that point, you back it off a notch, and you're basically set. You want to repeat the same thing for the other side, and make sure that you hear the even swish on both sides. If you over-tighten it, you're going to end up locking up the wheels, going to make maybe a, a good right turn or a left turn, kind of dangerous. So always make sure you don't over tighten the brakes, to keep them from overheating, and you'll be set. I'm Al, British Car Tips. We'll see you next week.